Hey, Uko. Uh, two years ago, you had hip surgery. There's a long road back, you know, games in the minors, a lot of work that got put in. I mean, what does this night really mean to you? Well, uh, of course, it means a lot. Like, uh, uh, in hockey and in sports anyways, you, you know, you can, like, decide how your journey is going to be. So it's always there's going to be some bumps on the road, which you, you know, kind of have to get through. But, you know, I really appreciate the help from everybody who's, you know, helped me along the way and, you know, helped me get there, get here. So, um, you know, it means a lot. Luka Pekka, I mean, you allow the early goal, but how, how, how did your comfort grow over the course of the game just from how they, your teammates were limiting the chances and, and the offense they provided? They, I guess they kind of maybe let you get comfortable there. Well, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the way I imagined that, you know, star would be, but uh, um, I think we played really well today as a team and, uh, you know, huge, huge thanks to the boys today and uh, we, we played a really solid game and um, you know, I, I think like you can't think too much about those goals that happens. It's, it's NHL, you know, there's good, good skaters here. And uh, if they get a chance and you're not ready, they will score. So um, it, it happens. And I, I, I'm really happy that we kind of got through that and uh, played a really good game. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Great, because I was having microphone problems. Uko, uh, congratulations on the win. Does it mean? Does it mean something special to you having Tuka Rask being on the other side in in your first win coming, you know, in this fashion and knowing that Tuka was on the other side of Finnish native? Well, of course, it's really kind of you have watched him play uh, since I, I, I've been young, and uh, uh, a lot of you know uh, I'm a Finnish goalie, so we we all look up to the goalies who play in the National League. So uh, it's it's a pretty cool moment, but in the end. Uh, when, it, when you step to the rink, you, you can't think too much about it, but uh, it, it's really cool for sure. Down the stretch, uh, you faced 22 shots in the third period. They get two goals that go in off your defenseman sticks. I mean, just unlucky goals. I mean, what do you think of that when now the Bruins have pulled it within a goal? They get two unlucky ones like that. Um, what do you think in there, and how do you keep your poise as you move forward after that happens to you? Oh, yeah. I have to appreciate Risto uh, keeping me honest and, uh, you know, keeping things interesting here. But, uh, no, it's just kidding. I, I, as I said, we played really, really solid game. And uh, uh, I think uh, we, we reacted as a team really well, and those bounces, they happen sometimes. And, uh, uh, as, you know, like the fourth goal, you really can't blame anybody about that. It's just like you know, bad luck in the end. So uh, I think how we reacted as a team from there and we scored an empty netter and, you know, played a really solid defense in the end. I, I think um, uh, it was, you know, in the end, it was just a great team effort from everybody. I'm sure you've got a lot of things going through your mind right now, but when you look back on today, what are some of the moments you know you'll always remember from today? Well, of course, just the first game, first win, and uh, those are the, like, things which, you know, will uh, stay for a long time. But uh, uh, I think just uh, the game as itself, like the first shot got in and kind of got through that. And uh, in the end, there was a couple goals too. So it wasn't probably the way I thought it would be. But uh, in the end, we got the win, which, you know, means a lot. Uh, when the empty netter goes in, I saw that Risto skated over and, and just talked to you. What was his message to you? Um, sure, he didn't feel that too great. He probably felt bad about what happened. No, I, we just talked about it. As I said, it was bad luck. It, it's nobody's fault when, when it hits the stick like that. So we just kind of had a laugh about it, and he said, sorry about that. But, you know, as I, as I said, in the end, it doesn't really matter as long as we got the win. Tuka, when you look at a, a big goalie like yourself, a lot of times big goalies stay in their net and just use their size. You're very aggressive. You were out in the crease. How much is that kind of the way you need to play? You need to be aggressive and really attack. Well, there's there's a lot of good shooters here. You, you, you have to respect them. You have to kind of challenge them time to time. But I, I think those are the like things which will come with time in, in this level. Uh, when, you, when you'll get more games, kind of knowing when you have to challenge them, when you have to stay deep in the net. And, uh, um, you know, it's a big part of the game, 
how you read it, and uh, there's a lot to improve in that. When was it when you did feel comfortable in the crease? Maybe the nerves went away. I know you made a big save near the end of the first period during one of their power plays on a redirection shot. Uh, by then, is that when you're starting to feel comfortable in the, in the, in the, the nerves have worn off and you feel good? I think maybe during the second period, I, as I said, I say a lot of times today, but we played really solid today and kind of, I, I feel that was the time when I catch up to the pace and kind of, you know, started feeling com more, more comfortable there. But, uh, um, uh, as I said, like, I, I think it will take a couple more games to actually, like, feel really comfortable on this level. But uh, if, if we're talking about today, I, I think, like, second period, I kind of started to feel more comfortable in the net. Thank you, Uko Pekka. Thank you.